Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dave Hero Go Gamers, and today I got a repair for you guys that I actually had to clear my repair bench for. Today we're going to be working on this two-year-old liquid damage on this Xbox One S motherboard. We're going to be able to see if we can be able to get this thing cleaned in a ultrasonic cleaner today. So this is going to be a little bit of a different video. So let's see what we can get done. So let's go over to the upper cam and see what we got. All right, so as you guys can see, this is an Xbox One S motherboard. Now, obviously, all this damage around this board is not supposed to be there. Now, this is two years old. And I know that for a fact because this is a motherboard I took in as a donor motherboard two years ago. So I've had it for that many years, and I've never been able to really use anything off of here um, I was surprised I was actually able to use the HMI ports out of here. But everything, as you can see, is pretty much covered in liquid. He, we have liquid over the, completely over all the, the MOSFETs, hitting all the RAM cards over here. We have liquid, oh wow. We even have a bunch of liquid damage right here, all over capacitors, all over right here. I have an ultrasonic cleaner. Um, this is more of a cost-efficient ultrasonic cleaner. I'm going to put the link down below in the description if you guys are interested in getting something like this. This ultrasonic cleaner is a huge ultrasonic cleaner. I want to say it's like three, or like five gallons. Um, it's pretty big, so it'll definitely be able to fit this motherboard. Now, what an ultrasonic cleaner is, is pretty much a cleaner that you could be able to use to clean different things. Now, the one I got, I'm gonna be using to clean a motherboard. So I have a certain cleaning solution that works perfect on electronics that will also, I will see if I can be able to find another cleaning, well, the same cleaning solution for you guys. Cause I had to find this one on eBay. I'll see if I can be able to find a link for that. The cleaning solution alone was $100. So I'm expecting this thing to be able to work. Now this, um, ultrasonic cleaner that I bought and I'll be sure you guys hear it in a little bit um, I spent only $443 on this ultrasonic cleaner which is pretty reasonable compared to the one that everyone was like oh yeah you got to get this one it was like two grand and I really didn't want to fork up that much money I wanted to start with a cheaper option to see if I could be able to go and, and be able to utilize this and if this doesn't work, then I move to the next most expensive thing. That's typically how I work on a lot of re repair stuff that I got. So let me pull the ultrasonic cleaner on this repair bench. And I'm going to show you guys what this thing look like. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, this thing is huge. And I'm trying to cover everything. Now we can see the options that we have right here. This thing is heat. And I spit, I let it sit for about 40 minutes heating up because, um, what I wanted to do is allow the ultrasonic cleaner to be able to heat up to about 65 degrees. That's where I wanted at. So I allowed it to heat up. So the, the liquid tenant is still hot inside of it. And I'll show you guys right here. I'll have to stand up. Oof. And this thing is really hot. Jeez. Um, right here, as you guys can see, we have liquid in here. This is liquid. This is actually um, distilled water mixed in with the Branson cleaner that I'm going to show you guys in the description. So as you, you can see how big this thing is. And the thing, just the lid was hot. I mean, this thing gets hot. It, it's steaming right now, as you guys can see on the upper cam. It might look like the upper cam is just like acting crazy, but that's actually steam. All around there so what we're going to do is we're going to plug this thing in uh, let me plug it in so we have a couple of different options as you guys can see we have your temperature which is 60 degrees Celsius we have how much time we wanted to allow it to run for it set on five minutes and we could change that obviously that means the the current temperature everything in there is 60 degrees Celsius I'm gonna turn the heating back on because I want the heating element to go up to 65 right so i got heating turned on and now that's good now there's also a couple different options right here there's a degas option which is exactly 
what it sounds like. It helps relieve the ultrasonic cleaner of gas. There's a sweep option, a turbo option, and how much time you want to put in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off one minute and see what we get with that. The temperature looks about right. Um, everything is heating up. Now, I'm not sure if I have enough liquid in here to be able to cover this entire motherboard. So as you guys can see, you have to distill water. I want to see if there's this, this is enough liquid. Now, the good thing about this is this has bars so we can be able to grab it. This has, so this is a little great. And the crazy thing is the one, the, the ultrasonic cleaner one that a lot of people was using, the one that I, that I was looking at doesn't even come with this. You got to spend like a couple extra hundred dollars just to get that, which is crazy. Uh, you got to spend as much as I pay for this entire machine just for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow this to be able to sit in there for one minute, right? So I'm going to put the lid on. Now this thing gets loud because I ran it to earlier to allow it to heat up. I ran it earlier to allow this thing to heat up. So now we're going to see if it's going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the turbo option. So what it does is it's going to sweep obviously faster because you kind of do sweep, which is a regular normal size sweep or turbo, which means it is going to sweep quicker. I'm going to do turbo. And the thing I like about this ultrasonic that it actually cleans it at two different frequencies, um, which I actually had to pay a little bit of extra money. That's why it was $443. I had to pay a little bit more money so it could be able to sweep at two different um, stages. So let's go to turbo. And this thing is loud. It's going right now. You can see the timer moving. I'm not too sure if you guys can hear this thing, but this thing, it's really just the frequencies. I'm used to loud noises like this, but with this, it's really just the frequencies that's kind of just like make your back hurt. All right, so it is done. I'm going to turn the heating element back on because I want to keep that on. Let's go over, over to the top. So we can see, wow, look at that. I can see just off of one minute. Look how, wow. That was just one minute, guys. Look how much it was able to get up in one minute. And this is a machine when I first initially got this in. I tried scrubbing it out with IPA, 99% by the way. And it didn't touch any of that. So what I'm going to do now is I wanted to check the back. And you can see that back looks way better. That is crazy. So obviously you want to run it longer. I wanted to run one minute just to see what it could be able to do with one minute's worth of time. Let's see if I could be able to run this thing with it open. So we're watching it cleaning right now while being open. Look at that. So this is after two minutes. I wanted you guys to see that. And look how much of that just fell off. Wow. This is crazy. This ultrasonic machine and that Brantic cleaner that I used was well worth the money, guys. So far, after two minutes worth of use, I would have to say this was a great investment. There was, there's no reason for me to go out to go spend two grand. And I'm going to close this because this thing is steaming up this entire repair room. This thing gets steamy and it gets hot. I could feel the heat. And this is... I only got it set to 65 as well. Wow. So I flipped the board upside down. I'm going to allow this thing to run for, um, let's, let's do two minutes, right? I think two minutes should suffice. And let's see what we could be able to get with that. So let's turn it on turbo.
Okay, so we are done. Let's look at how good it looks. Wow. Yeah, it's fogging up already. Yeah, this is this is getting crazy. Let me actually I'm going to take my thermal camera and see what what we're getting. So we can see look at that under the thermal camera. I mean, and this machine is pretty spot on. The machine is telling me right now that it's 60 degrees Celsius. The thermal camera is reading this machine as 64.7 which I had it set at 65. And you can see, look at the green. Um, around it is showing that the room temperature around it is about 20 degrees. And once you get inside of the, once you get inside of this ultrasound, I mean, it's like lava in there. That is crazy. So, yeah, this is, this was a great investment. This was definitely a great investment. And the bore also is hot too. Jeez. All right, look at that, guys. This is a complete night and day difference. I mean, honestly speaking, if I would have had this, if, if I would have had this um, ultrasonic cleaner back when I first got this motherboard in this would have been a repairable board um because obviously a lot of the donor consoles i get in a lot of them i repair a lot of them i scrap for parts something like this obviously i, I scrap for parts this i would have for sure would have kept if if i would have had this machine this machine is amazing i mean look at this look at that guys that is a night and day difference compared to what we had before. We're gonna go over to the upper cam and we're gonna um, clean off all the rest of the residue and we're gonna get this thing back and see um, how well can we get this motherboard back up and um, going. All right, so I got the ultrasonic cleaner off the board, um, off the repair bitch. I wanted to show you guys this cleaner I use. This is Branson cleaner. The label fell off um, when I got it. Actually, the crazy thing is a little bit with a little bit of the liquid was kind of seeping out of the bottle, which was weird. But the liquid was so powerful that it literally removed the entire label. And now I know why that one bottle right there is a hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars for that one bottle of cleaner. Let's go over to the upper camera and look at this. Look, just look at this. There's this is a night and day difference. And this will be something that I wouldn't be surprised if, if I was to be able to put this in a console if this thing was to actually work. Now you see how that all that just came up. So this is right underneath the APU, which is your processing unit, your CPU, and your GPU all in one. Uh, there was a bunch of liquid damage right there. There is nothing right there now. I mean, this is amazing. Look at this. It's completely gone. We have nothing right there. Let's flip the board. Look at the power MOSFETs. It was completely covered. There was nothing but liquid all over those MOSFETs. Now I'm curious. I am curious because we can see everything. This this is just this just literally blows my mind. <laughs> right? This is blowing my mind right now. Oh man, I could have saved so many consoles with with that cleaner so many consoles um i'm gonna put my multimeter in voltage mode right we're gonna read the voltages on this thing so you can see i have it in voltage mode let's start reading some of the mosfets to see what we get 0.6 right works fine let's go read the other mosfet see what we get 0.6 Let's see if this one works. 26. Guys. Uh, so for the people that don't understand, that means technically speaking, if I was to go around and, I'm, and I don't see any missing caps, I'm not sure where 
where and, and it could be where this copper trace was blown there could be a, maybe a couple missing components which could be easily replaced if that is the case if i was to plug this up right now technically speaking this thing should work right this thing obviously i don't have any hdmi ports and the goal was not to get this board a hundred percent working the goal was really just to see how much of the ultra how much the ultrasonic cleaner could be able to get off of this thing and it got everything off of this board right so technically speaking according to my multimeter with those power rails right there we actually have a working game console and don't quote me on this like i said i might need to i might there might be a couple components make that may be missing over here and I would if I so if I was to want to get this thing back up and working, I would put solder mask over here to cover up this open trace, and I would maybe have to replace a couple of the components over here because a couple of the components could have possibly blown out. But the goal was not to get this thing back up and working, so I'm not even really focused on that. If you guys do want to see me put this thing in a case and actually see if this thing does work, replace some of those components on the other side. And see if you can get this two-year-old liquid damage motherboard a hundred percent back up and going. Just let me know down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel too if you do want to see something like that. If you do want to see a part two to this video, also like this video as well. So yeah, let me know down in the comments because I I am interested if you guys will want to see something like that. If we get enough people saying yeah, I'll spend enough time on it. But as of right now, I have a, a backlog of about three hundred to four hundred game consoles. And I really didn't even have time for this video, but I really wanted to see what that ultrasonic cleaner could do. So my review on that ultrasonic cleaner is a complete five stars. If it was one out of five, it'll be a complete five stars. I'm going to leave the link to my ultrasonic cleaner down below in the description. Everything that I use in my videos is down below in the description, including the rancid cleaner. I'm going to find a link. For this one that you guys could be able to use to be able to clean your motherboards and your electronics at home using an ultrasonic cleaner so besides that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys on the flip side see ya